hello guys this is Ayokunle from Blooming Gardens today is January the 25th 2021 all right and um, as you can see behind me for those of you in Nigeria you know what this is this is serious Amatan the weather the, the temperature this morning you can see it all around me the temperature this morning was as low as 24 degrees and um, I did a short video yesterday while I was on the, uh, while I was going to church, uh, talking about the Amatan and how this will um, affect uh, how the presence of Amatan affects uh, some of our crops. So I, I said I was going to come to the farm today to shoot a video about some of the things that I know will come as soon as we see Amatan. In the first place, it's actually very surprising that we're having Amatan at this period of the year. Amatan normally would be something we would experience in Christmas. For some of us growing up, the presence of Amatan actually means Christmas is coming and we start dancing. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Mama buy a shoe for me. <laughs> I remember that song. Yes, if you did, then you grew up in the, probably the same neighborhood with me. All right. So we, we, we didn't see Amatan in, in December all through. And now it's here in January. Again, it's an emphasis. It's a, I mean, if you don't believe in climate change, this is another confirmation. There's a lot of Amatan everywhere right now. It is an anomaly. And of course, it will impact on our crops. One of the ways that I have seen in the past that it impacts on our crops is that Amatan brings white flies. Without, I mean, with the little experience I have, I knew that white flies were going to be everywhere. White flies are going to be everywhere and uh, i predicted it yesterday so i'm on the farm right now i'll just flip my camera over and i'll show you on this crop how they are feasting okay so this is a crop of um okra uh, they're already flowering as you can see in some in those cases there uh, meaning that in a few days in a few days they'll be harvesting can you see that guy there it's already you see there see the okra already almost ready to start uh, in, in probably about three four five days they should start harvesting now the big challenge that they are going to have that they are possibly going to have on this farm are these guys watch this i'm turning the leaf over can you see them white flies all those white dots they are white flies they are mean they're not just on that leaf alone can you see them they're everywhere let me move to a diff totally different plant oh look at this look at this party party after party party after party see what happens when i tap them they try and fly away but some of them will just refuse to go. See them? You see some of them flying off. You see them? Those guys are nasty. White flies. They are very they, they love okra. They love um, tomatoes. They love uh, solanaceous crops generally. And of course, they, they don't just love. They are like mosquitoes. They, they carry a virus that they dump on the plant and um, and makes the plant in a very short while to become sterile uh, the plant will not be able to produce flowers and even if it produces flowers probably won't be able to convert it very well so when you see this you actually need to act when you see amatan you need to be careful and take action immediately don't wait immediately so for okras for tomatoes what i usually would recommend is look for I mean, a strong dose of abamectin, or uh, if you can get this um, uh, confido from Bayer, which we sell, you can reach out to us. If you can get confido from Bayer, or any serious abamectin, there are a lot of fake abamectin abamectins out there. I don't want to make, mention any brand name now so that I don't get sued, but I've used a lot in the market that. Um, they're just useless they don't uh, they don't do what they're supposed to do even from the big brand companies you know um, but there are few that uh, you can send me a dm and i'll tell you the one that i would recommend and then you can go look for it i think we have a few that we can sell so just reach out all right but those are things you need to look out for. Uh, you need to 
immediately start spraying on your crops and you may need to spray a lot because probably maybe like two times or three times a week because every time you spray the white flies die very quickly uh, but again because every morning there's a fresh uh, set a fresh bout of amatan that comes in it's as if it brings a fresh uh, set of uh, white flies to come and reside so about my thing doesn't have a residual effect so you have to continue to spray regularly until they, they you you reduce their impact or reduce their population to a significant level a significantly low level that's what you need to do anyway i just said i should share that today uh i'm back on the farm uh we are irrigating those my those guys there they came visiting today their former my former colleagues uh they want to also come into farming so i'm gonna be having a chat with them today about our journeys and uh, what what they need to look out for what they, how they need to start and on and on like that all right so anyway this is me i open lay on a cold morning 24 degrees centigrades that's cold for us in nigeria all right it was probably even cold at night but it's going to get very hot very very soon that's what uh that's those are characteristics of this period of the year so you can, of the year so you can go as much as 33 34 in a few hours all right anyway i'm here you got sweet corn looking good there all right i got some younger ones on the other side there uh amatan won't let you see the end of the farm very well but hey this is me saying hi to you guys and i'll see you on the next video if you like this video and all the other videos please do us a favor click on the subscribe button drop a comment below ask a question below do something below or just talk to us and let there be communication all right i'll see you on the next video bye